Welcome to Hacktoberfest 2020. Hacktoberfest is a month-long celebration of open source software run by DigitalOcean. Hacktoberfest is open to everyone in our global community. To participate, you'll need to submit four quality pull requests to public GitHub repositories. When you do, you'll earn some swag, including your very own Hacktoberfest 2020 t-shirt. You can sign up anytime between October 1st and October 31st, and we encourage you to connect with other developers and Hacktoberfest enthusiasts for virtual events and information sessions starting in September. In this quick video, we'll introduce you to Git and GitHub, the version control system that we'll be using to track your progress and repository hosting service that shares projects to collaborate on. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be ready to submit your first pull request and will be well on your way to participating in Hacktoberfest. Before we begin with Git and GitHub, let's talk about version control. When developers work on a project together, oftentimes they'll need to work on the same code base. While they're working, each developer needs to know about what changes the other dev made so as not to duplicate work or write code over what has already been done. A version control system serves as a saving program for the code, where it assigns a version to a project and tracks changes made over time to each file in the project. In this way, developers can work together on a project by checking in with the latest version to see the changes made before working on their portion of the project's code. Git, a version control system used to manage developer projects of all sizes, was created in 2005 by Linus Torvalds, the creator of Linux, to help developers contribute code and share code revisions in a way that was fast, efficient, and inexpensive. Git creates code repositories to help developers edit, share, and publish code for all. GitHub is a cloud-based repository hosting service that allows developers to take code that they've written on their local machines and share it with the world. GitHub provides a way to share the version track projects on your local computer publicly through repositories or central file locations, and depending on the project's availability, it can either be a private or public repository. Other developers can continue the project to edit the code, provide insight, and more. To get started with GitHub, you can create an account at github.com. We have links on the Hacktoberfest resources page that details exactly how to get started with GitHub. Check it out after this video. All right, let's get started cloning and editing our first repo. First, let's navigate to the repo that we'd like to clone. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to use our Haiku repo. If you're following along with me, we've provided the link in the transcript for you to clone this repo as well. So I found a repo that looks interesting to work on that I can contribute meaningful content to. Remember, each of the pull requests you submit for Hacktoberfest should contribute to an existing repo in a way that helps the project to thrive. Take some time to pick one that resonates with you before starting. All right, before I clone this repo, that is, take a copy of the code here on GitHub onto my local machine, I want to take a copy of the whole repo into my own GitHub account. To do this, I'll make a fork of the repo. It's like I'm taking a bite of it, a copy that I can use to edit that doesn't affect the main or source code base. I'll navigate to click the fork button. Then watch as GitHub takes this repo and adds it as a copy to my account. As you see, now my name appears as the creator of this repo, which is a fork of the main Haiku repo. Next, I'll need to navigate over to my command line interface. I'm using Terminal on Mac, but there's a number of command line interfaces that are available for your OS. Use the one that works best for you. Git also offers a graphical interface that allows you to edit repos with visual commands. A link to download and learn more about that interface is available as a resource. In the terminal, I'm going to enter git clone. This command will clone or copy the copy that I just created from the Haiku repo down to my local machine. This will enable me to make changes to the code base locally or on my own machine to upload to the cloud remotely. 
Awesome. So we have the Haiku repo down on our local machine, and now we're ready to make a change. Using the command line interface, I'm going to navigate to the folder of our cloned repo, Haiku repo, by using CD, or change directory. I'm using Visual Studio Code as my text editor in IDE of choice. There's a number of editors in IDEs or integrated development environments out there that allow you to write code in a number of languages and format it using best practices, snippets, and more. While Visual Studio Code is just one IDE, I'd suggest checking out a few and picking the one that works best for your coding environment. Resources on picking an IDE can be found on our Hacktoberfest resource page. Now, in a situation where I'm in an unfamiliar code base, I take my time to read and understand everything that's going on and find parts of the code that I might make more efficient or suggest different solutions for. It's worth it to fully understand the code base and read any associated documentation provided before making changes. Now that we've made a change to the Haiku repo, we'll need to track and save that change. The first step in tracking your change is to add it to the version you're working on. To do that, we'll execute the command git add. Writing the command in this way allows you to add all changes made to the repo across files. If you need to only submit changes to an individual file, use git add in the name of file. After we add, we'll get no confirmation. To see your changes, you can execute the command git status. This allows you to check on the status of your track changes. We'll see that your file has been added, but not committed as a change. Git provides this step in the event that you need to amend a change before officially tracking it as new or edited code. Next, let's commit our change. We're confident that it's right and would like to submit this change for consideration of those who maintain the project. I'll execute the command git commit and add a message with slash m so that other developers who are collaborating on this project will know what my changes are. In this way, everyone can be informed of changes that are made. This message is tracked along with the commit ID in my username so other developers know who added this change. After committing, I'll need to push my changes from my local machine to the remote repository on GitHub. To do this, I'll execute the command git push. Here, we can designate an origin for the push. In this instance, we want it to go straight to the main repo that I forked from the source haiku repo. So far, we've identified a repo that we'd like to edit. We took a copy of the repo onto our GitHub account and local machine using fork and clone. We then made a change and submitted our change with git add, then solidified our change by running git commit, which committed the change, and git push, which pushed our change from the local machine to the remote repository on GitHub. If we look on GitHub now, we'll see that the change we made is reflected in the files in our copy of the repo. Exciting! We're now ready to let the maintainers of the project know that we have a change to the repo that we're confident about and ready to submit. To do this, we'll click the pull request button here to the right. After the pull request button is clicked, a new page will open with a form that explains the changes we made and shows if the changes made will in any way conflict with the existing content. We'll add in an appropriate title that details the change, and in the description, add an explanation of what changes were made and why. What you add here can vary depending on the project. Take a look at the project's collaboration guidelines to make sure your pull request is formatted correctly. After adding in that information, we'll scan the PR page to make sure that our committed change does not conflict. If everything checks out, we'll get a green Submit Pull Request button at the bottom that escalates our request to make a change to the source haiku poem code base that will be live for anyone viewing that main branch. Be patient. It may take maintainers some time to review your request. Amendments and comments can be added on the pull request page, and new commits to the same affected files will appear in the request history here. 
Congratulations, we've successfully submitted our first pull request. You did it! In this tutorial, you learned about Git and GitHub and successfully identified and submitted a change to a public repo. For Hacktoberfest, you'll need to submit four meaningful pull requests. So again, find the project that resonates with you and have fun hacking! For more information about Hacktoberfest, visit our main page. For additional information about Git and GitHub, visit github.com. Happy Hacktoberfest 2020!